I'm Danny Gurry, and you've tuned in to Good Morning Frederick. It's a podcast, well, about Frederick. Everything, the people, the businesses, the nonprofits, and the cool stuff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Good Morning Frederick. Ah, well, how about that? Good morning, Frederick. Today is Tuesday, May 28th, and I'm your host, Danny Gurry. What do you think? Brand new countdown with custom song? I think it's awesome. Comment and let me know. Working just to give people a little more time to join the stream, and I love the song. It's been an earworm for me all weekend. So thank you so much for that. Love your comments, though. We reached 280 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much. Of course, we're shooting for 500 by June 15th, which is not that far away. If we hit it, I'm gonna score some big prizes to give a couple lucky subscribers. And I know, I know we can hit that number with your help. I twisted everyone's arm at my little Memorial Day barbecue last night and made them all sign up too, so. Continue to share the YouTube channel on your socials and scroll through a few videos and give them a like or leave a comment. Did you know that on that page, I not only have the full show, obviously the live version, I repost the full show as well as each individual segment. So if there was something in particular that you saw that you wanted to revisit, you don't have to try to find the spot in the full hour long uh, segment, you can actually search for it like if you liked uh rosy cheeks or uh sarah's kitchen you can just actually search for it on the channel and you'll come right to that segment feel free to share those segments as well not only uh on your own socials but if you see somebody post something and you think that that's a great response i'd love for you to share those as well the goal is 1000 subscribers by september all right, on the show today, ooh, we got a lot happening. An update from Thanksgiving Farms. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna introduce you to the new owners of Benstown. Wait till you see this place, it opens tomorrow. And Brandon from Rhythm Change, Brendan, I'm sorry, I keep saying Bre Brendan from Rhythm Changes tells me all about the fundraising concert for his nonprofit that features Jimmy's Chicken Shack. It's coming up soon. Plus, Charlie Bucket's Mark Court from the number one seeded Northeast TBL team, the Flying Cows, clinched this weekend, which is fantastic. Uh, the home playoff game on Saturday. There is a uh, play-in game. I think it's on Thursday, but we'll ask him all about that. Plus, I'll show a recap of the ride to remember that Pulling for Veterans took part in on Sunday. So, big show, lots happening. And today is Tuesday. You're going to feel like it's Monday all day. I know. Today is Tuesday. All right, let's get this thing started today. Thanks to our show sponsor, we help you move, whether you're moving across the street or across the country. Nicholas and his team of moving experts will make the whole thing easy. I know, moving, easy, stress-free, never in a same sentence. All right, it may not be completely stress-free, but Nicholas is gonna help you. He's got some great tips for organizing yourself even before you start packing. If you're thinking about moving anywhere, give them a call, wehelpyoumove.com. Also, if you need furniture moved around your house, uh, I had that happen. I needed to get a love seat from the third level down to the basement. They came over and did that for me. Or if you're moving offices, I know uh, some people who, the Alzheimer's Association was just moving offices and Nick helped them get that taken care of as well. We Help You Move is veteran owned and a huge supporter of the Frederick community. And uh, you can contact them today. WeHelpYouMove.com. All right, crazy weather the last few days. We've got uh, today, we've got sunshine and a few clouds, high of 81. 
winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, which isn't huge, but could be a bit breezy if you've got anything outside that might um, blow away. Uh, tomorrow, scattered thunderstorms and 74, a little bit, I'd say cooler, but the humidity is, you know, we're Maryland. Next three days, Thursday, sunny and 76. Friday, fr Thursday and Friday look amazing, sunny and 78. Uh, weekend not looking terrible, some clouds and uh, 83, both Saturday and Sunday. So, uh, so far weekend looking pretty good. All right, uh, giveaways. Uh, actually, I, I'm going to take this one off because Scott Marcerone, who I'm interviewing tomorrow, just said, hey, why don't you give away a summer camp? Oh my gosh. How about it? Don't you want a summer camp for your kids at the Let There Be Rock School here in Frederick? So I'm, let me just see if I can re-pull this up and see if it's uh, updated. But uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I've got the, all right. So we've got uh, also new pair of tickets to see Head Over Heels at the Met. That just got added. The deadline is the 30th for that because it is on Friday. So Thursday, you're going to want to enter to win, and I will respond to the winner uh, Thursday evening so you know for Friday. Uh, the Friday is the deadline for $50 off the Epic Detail, $25 off CK Nails. We've also got, see, i got to move my head here. Oh, $25 off Light Side Floats on the 31st. Then you've got the tickets to Crystal's Funny Farm for Goat Yoga, and you've also got the summer camp. So I'm going to put the, um, I don't have the camp on here yet because he just, uh, emailed me, but you can text met epic nails, goat float and rock. Those are your words to text to 888-465-2944 to win those fabulous prizes. I would love to give them to you. Um, so yeah, just text the text line. You can text them all or just text one or two if you want that. All right, also, uh, garden party. All right, I need two more teams of ladies. It's gonna be fun. I have decided, and I haven't even let them know yet, hopefully they're watching, but Pulling for Veterans is going to be my charity of choice for my basket. So uh, yes, I will be uh, putting that together. Baskets are due June 11th, and it's going to be great. So if you're a nonprofit and you're watching, get some of your advocates together to put a basket in for your charity, okay? They'll create the baskets. You know, that's why we want teams of ladies because we want the minimum value to be $500 for the baskets. And I'm going to say you're going to want to be creative because uh, I just uh, saw Shannon Flannery she sent me a picture of what her basket is going to look like. And I got to say, it made me step up my game. So just be creative with the vessel, the decorations, how you're stuffing it, the explanation on the outside of what's on the inside, because it is winner take all, right? So the basket that sells the most raffle tickets gets all the money okay so it's a little friendly competition it's a little friendly competition so if you would like to create a basket for a nonprofit, please just let me know there is a bit.ly link right here on the screen if you'd like just take a screenshot of it real quick because i'm not sure how that qr code scans i've also posted it in the group everything frederick and more so if you search for uh, Sisters in Charity Garden Party. You should be able to find it, and uh, you can. You got to fill out that information so I know that a basket is coming, and I make sure that the charity you've selected doesn't have another basket assigned to it. So uh, you're going to want to do that. We'd really like to help out some charities. Plus, all the charities are going to get a great deal of promotion around the selling of the raffle tickets you can bet it so if you want a little extra promotion 
you're going to want to get somebody to put a basket into this for you. I'm excited about it. I think it's made me really try to get creative. I'm going to have to actually reach out to some of my friends who are much more creative than I am on the decorating side of things. So I'm going to be working on that this week. All right, we are coming up to the Scott Key Center Prom. I'm so excited. It is June 5th. Uh, huge thanks to Alexa from Charles Studios. She made a total donation of $500 to help us pay for half of the food. We are working on the other half right now. If you can donate, please do so at scottkeycenter.org. I think we need about $500 more, but I'm waiting to get an update from them. And I'm waiting to get a final menu from Scott Key Center, but it's going to be a great, great afternoon. Uh, they are so excited. And all of those businesses listed donated 100% of everything to make this awesome. So I want to thank all of them uh, for coming together and um, also volunteers. We still need a couple volunteers. I think I put, oh, I got to update, but uh, from 10 to 11 a.m. and from 1 to 2 p.m. That's set up and clean up. The more hands we have, the quicker we'll get things done and we want to leave the room pristine as uh, the ARC on Market Street has donated the space to us. So we want to try to limit any additional costs that they have with labor and all of that. All right, I am going to try to get through this next post without crying, but you guys know me. It doesn't happen very often uh, because I can't help it. It's just how I am. <laughs> so uh thanksgiving farms uh as you guys know uh shannon uh myself sharon volpe uh, were on social media over the last several days kind of answering the call from thanksgiving farms and um i'm not going to read this to you directly because i just don't think i can get through it but um Look, I think, you know, Frederick is an awesome, amazing place. I know this, uh, I believe it 100%. And um, all of these people stepped up. Frederick, you stepped up. Um, I took Mama Cone to Thanksgiving Farms for a second run of plants. They look absolutely stunning. I'm going to have to show you. I actually, everything is still alive, but it's only been a little over a week. So uh, for most of it. Um, and, uh, this is what I love about this town. Uh, Brian got to spend time with his sons as they graduated college. And, um, let me just see, uh, they say they are humbled. They're just average people, which no one is average, right? Everybody's extraordinary. And, um, look, we're so happy we were able to do it. So, Anyway, I just want to thank you guys, uh, everyone who went. Actually, I saw a ton of people uh, when I was there this weekend. And um, yeah, it just, um, it's just awesome. And that is, again, what makes Frederick the best place in the world to live, bar none, hands down. When we come together like this, that's what's awesome. That's what's awesome about it. So anyway, you can see that post in everything Frederick and more and of course at Thanksgiving Farms um, you know we were we were successful in helping them to spend more quality time and together as a family so that's what we wanted to do all right if you're hungry oh have I got a place for you Danny and I recently had dinner at Sushi Nomu and I've got to tell you it was absolutely unbelievable the decor phenomenal the food just amazing I had the best miso soup I've ever had the sushi was so fresh and delicious and it was actually a feast for the eyes the presentation was stunning and the service was impeccable the sushi fresh the sashimi the best I've ever had I can't say enough great things about it if you're looking for a great place maybe to go on a date or maybe just to try something new it's affordable it is beautiful and you will not be disappointed I promise sushi nomu 
at sushinomu.com or 4969 Westview Drive, just beyond the Dunkin' Donuts. If you want great food, I'm telling you right now, best place I've ever been. All right, after the break, you're going to meet, uh, we were going to talk to Rhythm Changes, uh, making a difference in kids' lives, and Ben's town owners, Greg and Ann, are going to make a difference in the food and music scene here in Frederick, plus a photo recap of the ride to remember, and apparently I'm supposed to be talking to Charlie Marcourt from the Flying Cows, hopefully he will click in sometime this hour, and all of that will happen right after this. All in One Events is Frederick's number one source for event rentals and entertainment. Please visit us on the web at www.aioeventgroup.com or call 1-888-727-8902 for more information. All right, A&S Construction, a local and award-winning woman and minority-owned business right here in Frederick. They specialize in roofing and siding, plus windows, gutters, patios, and decks. You may want to get outside and check your roofing and siding after that crazy wind we had. This weather has been nuts. Uh, Somebody's shed was like 15 feet away. They even had a tornado warning the other day, so I'm not sure if any of those high winds affected you, but this is the time. Get your roof checked. Check that siding, and if you need anything, If you just want somebody else to come out and check, call Sandra at 301-703-2157 or you can email her at info at ansconstruction.net. Now, Sandra has passed along that special offer to our Good Morning Frederick viewers. You can save $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs. Please give her a call or send her an email to let her know that Danny said hello. But she's fantastic and she will take good care of you. ansconstruction.net. All right. Oh boy. Is there anything happening in Frederick ever? Hmm, maybe a thing or two. Let's get to that. Happening in Frederick is sponsored by the Taco Bar. It is Taco Tuesday. 20% off three tacos all day long. They are located. Taco Bar is at West Point Plaza on Route 40, right between 40 and Alternate 40, just below the Weiss Markets out there. They have steak, chicken, al pastor, carnitas, fish tacos, as well as a vegan taco option. And if you're feeling adventurous, try the beef tongue or small intestine tacos. You can find out all the details, tacobar1.com. All right, if you want to know what's happening in Frederick, where do you go? You know where to go. You go to the Everything Frederick calendar, and you can get that calendar by Texting calendar to 888-465-2944. It's an automatic reply with the link right to this calendar, which you can see here. Let's get to our agenda version. Remember, it is Tuesday today. Uh, There is, oh, I am going to start including as much as I can what food trucks are going to be where because... I've seen a lot of posts, uh, even on the Everything Food Truck uh, page and our Everything Frederick and Moore page, where it's hard to see where food trucks are going to be. So if you own a food truck or you know somebody who does, tell them to send me their schedule each week. They can email it to everythingfredericklive at gmail.com. They can um, yeah, send it to me there, and I will get it added. So I did find out Wonder Bowl's food truck is at 911 East Patrick Street today from 11 to 6. And uh, the 
Cote Co uh, Kids Organic Shaved Ice is at Sophia Madigan's Playground today from 3.30 to 7. So I'm going to try to get as many as I can uh, posted here. We've got more carnivals. Boonesboro is still going on. And Thermont Ambulance Carnival is on. Again, I did not see the hours posted when I was creating these back a couple months ago. So check for the hours uh, through Facebook or on their website. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, trivia night at the home of everything Frederick and more, which is at 401 North Market Street. We're going to have some trivia fun. If you want to play some trivia, if you want to come see the shop and hang out for a couple of hours, uh, Shannon's going to have some prizes. There's going to be a ton of fun stuff happening at Trivia Night. Also, the Benstown Grand Opening. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later, but that is from 5 to 10. They've got some live music, and it's going to be amazing. Now, it's going to be packed, as you know. So if you're going to go, please plan on being patient and using grace not only with the staff, but certainly with everyone else. But uh, it's going to be fun this evening. Um, and then, oh, Mother Seton School also has a carnival. So if you're in carnival mode, this is the time of year for you. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, of course, Alive at 5. Tomorrow is the Players Band, Reggae and Ska. That should be fun. And they, of course, food trucks, beer and wine, and cocktails from McClintock and 10th Ward. We love that. And that is Alive at Five. Just six bucks to get in and six bucks for your drinks, which is really not bad at all. There's also some line dancing in Thermont at the American Legion. And that is with our friend Sharon. That is going to be a ton. I got to get up there one time for that. I think that would be a ton of fun. All right. This weekend, it is first Saturday. There are a, there's a ton of stuff happening this weekend. Um, first Saturday, though, we will be at the home of Everything Frederick, 401 North Market Street. It's Princess Photo Day. You can come in your princess costume or your prince costume, and we are going to have a princess that you can take your photo with. Also, if you purchase any Good Morning Frederick T-shirt or, or hat, you will get a free sticker and magnet for your car. I've been making people put them on their cars that I know, of course. Um, and uh, you can check that out. That is first Saturday. Now, Mama Cone and I will be down there from 11 to 2 because first Saturday, uh, that evening, 7 p.m., playoff game. That's our home game for the Flying Cows. Um, not sure actually who we're playing yet. I got to look at that and, um, see what is happening there, who, who we're playing, uh, for that game. I'll double, double check or we'll ask Charlie if he joins us today. Um, and then Sunday there is goat yoga at Crystal's Funny Farm. Sunday, June 2nd, of course, you can text goat to win tickets to go to that. It's going to be a ton of fun. It's such a cute place and those animals are crazy in the best way. All right. So text calendar to 888-465-2944 and you can get all of that information. Did I cover everything I needed to? I think so. I think so. All right. Uh, and if you have an event you want included on the calendar, just email it to everythingfredericlive at gmail.com. So if you're a local store owner, local business, maybe you have something fun coming up. I mean, I'm not going to put your 20% off sale, right? But if you're doing something cool, if you have something fun, if you're a food truck, please let me know and I will get that on. Okay, let's talk about... Who's doing good in the neighborhood? Well, Rhythm Changes wants all kids to have access to music. And they are helping make that happen. And you can too by just going to hear some great music. Let's hear about Rhythm Changes. With Brendan Dull from Rhythm Changes, the founder, executive director. Thank you so much for the time, first Happy of all. To be here. Secondly, I I kind of want to kick myself because I've heard of your organization and actually researched it when I was helping Kat with Troy Fest 
-hmm. I was like, what is this rhythm changes? And I looked it up, but never went any further. So that's on me, but I'm so glad we're having a chance to chat. And we're here at the Let There Be Rock School right in Frederick. Mm -hmm. So kind of take us back to before rhythm changes started and what made you say, you know what, there is a need here that I need to step in. Sure. I was uh, running a, a repair shop in Frederick called Lucky Pick Guitars. And we got a lot of instruments donated by musicians that weren't worth a whole lot of money, but they could be repaired and given to students. It's about when I met Scott. Mm. So we started donating some instruments to the Frederick Rock School and helping out some kids independently. And it evolved from there, and we became a, a licensed nonprofit. And we also started a sister school in Haiti. I mean, that is I mean, kind of an incredible leap. What made you choose Haiti? Um, I had been there a couple okay. times, and I had seen the need with students there. They didn't have guitar strings. They had yeah. guitars, but there was no manufacturers. I reached out to companies like Diodario, and they started donating equipment to us, and we started getting them in the hands of kids who needed them. Yeah, that's unreal, because I, there's a million studies that show that kids that are involved in music, that can read music, that play music, write music, all have a better chance at finishing school, or at least staying out of trouble, or being focused um, is that what you guys have found over the years? That absolutely, yeah, yeah, and it, it gives them something to focus on. Mm. And it keeps them out of trouble. Yeah. It's something positive, and yeah. it affects the community because music is very social. It is, of course, and you know, I love the fact that Scott and this organization has constantly given back to the community with the performances from a lot of the students here, utilizing mm. uh, events to highlight how well these guys are doing. I have many adult friends actually who are playing in bands that are doing quite well. You know, again, it is a very social thing no matter the age. Absolutely. But for kids in particular, especially ones that might be uh, at risk or things like that, it's there's a cost sometimes that is mm -hmm. keeping them from being able to get music lessons or get an instrument or follow up with any of that. And I think it's great that you guys are stepping yeah. in there. Well, that's that's what we try to do. Try yeah. to offset that cost. Yeah. So how do how do you find the kids that have the need? So we have a lot of people that reach out to us, mm. and we do have an application on our website. So we have different uh, scholarship programs from elementary all the way up to college. Okay. And then we work with local businesses and talk to families and business owners about maybe families that need a little bit of support in the community. Okay, so you guys have a big event coming up, a we do. big fundraiser, yep. and you've been doing this how long? Eight years. Oh my gosh, it's the first I've heard of it. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it, what is, tell, tell us a little bit about this event so and how it impacts you. We're doing the Let There Be Rock Fest, mm -hmm. June 15th, and that's going to be in collaboration with the Let There Be Rock School of Frederick, mm -hmm. and the whole point is that uh, to bring a great lineup and raise a lot of money mm. for the kids here in Frederick and put the money back in the community and just kind of help keep music alive. Yes, okay, mm -hmm. and where is this event happening? So we're doing it at the Amvets Post Pavilion. Which oh, at is, the farm? Yeah, no, at the farm. At the farm, yeah. at the farm, okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a lineup of music all day? All day, yeah, we have Jimmy's Chicken Shack, Stone Horses, the Blues Vultures, tons of Let There Be Rock School bands, tons of local uh, bands like mm. Gatwick mm. that are playing. Yeah. So. It's going to be a great day. It's from 12 to 8. Okay, 12 to 8 p.m. on the 15th. Now, how will people be able to help at the event? Is there additional, are there additional things like raffles or things like that? Sure. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of instrument raffles, yeah. a lot of amplifier raffles, a lot of drum raffles. Okay. And all of that money is going to go to support the kids. Nice. Um, also, a portion of each ticket sale is going okay. to go towards the, uh, okay. the nonprofit. And where can people get their tickets? For the they show? can go on Eventbrite. Okay or they can go on rhythmchanges.org and okay. follow our ticket link. Fantastic. What has been the biggest challenge over the last eight years for you and getting this organization, you know, continuing to have it run and help kids? Just finding uh, people who want to know and they want to help, mm. really. Because it's a lot of work. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work to keep music alive. Yeah. And, just running out of steam with certain volunteers and people kind of go through cycles, but yeah. you know, the more help, the better. Yeah. So really uh, exposure to a larger audience who Absolutely. this touches a note with, mm -hmm. pun intended, uh, to want to help and give back musically to this organization and to kids in Frederick. 
What's been the greatest moment? Do you have like a pinnacle moment over the last eight years where you said, you know what, this, this is definitely what I should be doing? Absolutely. The greatest moment for me is seeing uh, the, the kids who come through our program yeah. volunteering their time. So and they come back and they give back. Yes, yeah. oh, that's pretty and cool. Understanding the lessons that have been taught. Yeah. Maybe not even at the time, but now as but they've now. gotten older. Mm -hmm. I mean, an eight year span gives you a pretty good kind of growth with the kids, you know, if they come in pretty young to now, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. So if there was one thing you wanted people of Frederick to know about the organization, if they walked away with one thing, what would that be? That Rhythm Changes is here for the community. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna be at that event June 15th at the farm, Amvet's Farm, right next to Tree Trekkers off 144. Get your tickets. You're going to see an amazing lineup. If you've never seen Jimmy's Chicken Shack and my boys' generation uh, part, uh, my friend Mark is in that band, and all the other great bands from Frederick Rock School, you got to get your tickets and head on out. And hey, if they don't get their tickets, how can they support? Is there a donate? Yes, they can absolutely donate. So get on out there if you can't go to the event, because most people say, well, I'm already doing something on the 15th. Great, you can donate. Donate the ticket amount right there, rhythmchanges.org. Mm -hmm. All right. I want to thank Brendan for that. And uh, yes, get out. Rhythmchanges.org. You can donate your ticket amount. Help kids not only here in Frederick, but also overseas find music. And we know that that makes a huge difference in someone's life. Uh, music forever. And I love that the adults are uh, kicking in as well. And that's going to be a great show. So, all right, let's move on. All right, Market Makers is sponsored by Thermont Fireman's Carnival opening on June 17th to the 22nd with the parade on June 20th. Pre-sale ride tickets are now on sale, just $20. You're saving five bucks. You can purchase at the Woodsboro Bank in Thermont, Thermont Country Kitchen, and the Weiss Market in Thermont only. Can you get those uh, ride wrist tickets, wristbands, or whatever they have? All right, revisioned, reimagined, and reworked. Benstown is about to hit the stage tomorrow. And I chat with Greg and Ann about the newest hot spot to hit Frederick. The hottest place in Frederick, Benstown, with the owners, Greg and Ann. Thank you so much for meeting Thank me today. Man. So I had the pleasure of meeting Stephanie, your chef. Mm -hmm. So excited that she's come back to Frederick with uh, some new spice in her life. So tell me a little bit about kind of getting to this point. You are um, one of the owners of Brewer's Alley. Mm -hmm. So Frederick is not a strange place to you at all. So tell me how Benstown came to be. Well, I mean, really uh, going back, so we got involved uh, with this location um, really at the end of uh, 2022 and um, the gentleman that was this operating out of here um, kind of needed to he needed to move on. Yes, he did. Um, and so we uh, we ended up with with the space, and you know, as we were as he was moving on, um, you know, we thought long and hard about well, okay, we we're in the restaurant business, so we should put a really cool concept in. And as you start to look at a concept, it took I mean, it took a lot of a lot of time. Um, a lot of ideation, a lot of thought, and generally speaking, at least with what we generally look at in, from the restaurant, is, is we look at a few things. Um, number one, um, aside from number one, we always think about our, our employees first, um, and you know, number two is what are we doing for our guests, and number three is how does it look for the community. Um, and there's a lot of uh, tradition um, about this location. Mm. You know, I think once upon a time it was the raw bar. I mm -hmm. think that was probably the most successful. Yeah. Um, run that a restaurant had here um, and so we really started I, I give the credit a lot to to my wife on really getting to the final plan of what we were going to do but um, a lot of the inspiration started out in you know we were thinking lower Broadway um, in Nashville and we thought about well what is what is what does Frederick not have because um, we wanted to bring something to to lift up the community and provide a, a totally you know a new experience um, for guests there's a lot of phenomenal you know 
restaurants mm -hmm. um, and hospitality organizations already in Frederick, but we wanted to make sure we were, we were doing something to add to that. Um, and so we ended up with, with what this space has traditionally been known of with the, with the touch of music that's always been around it. We were like, well, this could be perfect um, for, lower, for like a lower Broadway Nashville-esque. We didn't actually, we went away from Nashville. We thought after we worked with um, our chefs um, and now our management and leadership team, we felt like that was a little bit too narrow. Um, and so it's, we really ended up with like a, a Southern culinary vibe um, combined with a very robust list of, uh, you know, bourbons and whiskeys and obviously a, a phenomenal craft beer menu. So what we have. So I think those things fit well um, within the community. And from what I've seen, you know, the team has really has put together, I think our, our bar beverage menu is out of this world. And I think our culinary menu is, is really going to get people to, to, to raise their eyebrows when yeah. they see what, what to our chef has learned in her time in Frederick, but also yeah. you know, the time she spent in Charleston, South Carolina. Well, that's what I love about it. Because of her experience here, I think she's able to fuse, right? Frederick with the South in a way that people won't be too freaked out by, but excited by. Yeah. And I think any time you list your priorities in the order of employees and the community and all of that, that's refreshing. You know, I think a lot of people come into town saying, I'm going to do this restaurant because this is what I like. And when you come in and you really absorb what the community is going to respond to, even if it's not something they're used to, I think that's a home run always. Yeah, I mean, we're, you know, we're very, very fortunate. Number one, Frederick is a phenomenal community, um, and it just continues to get better and better um, each and every day. I mean, that's a tribute to all the hardworking folks in Frederick, and I yeah. think that you see a very, you know, there's a nice general alignment between um, government and business, and it, and it comes together well. The Downtown Frederick Partnership, mm. you know, what a phenomenal story oh, that is, yes. um, and, and, and their collaboration to really grow to the downtown. So yeah. we're excited to be, you know, we're really excited to be here. We're excited yeah. to, you know, open another chapter to our, you know, our restaurant, our restaurant organizations um, yeah. here in the community. And more importantly, you know, this is about, you know, you know, our mission is pretty simple. It's, uh, you know, enrich lives and express excellence through the power of enlightened hospitality. And we talk about enriching lives. Wow, that it's, should be on a shirt somewhere. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty powerful right it's, there. I mean, it's enriching lives. Oh, yeah. and it's enriching yeah. the, the lives of our employees. It's, yeah. it's enriching the lives of our guests. It's enriching the lives of our community. I mean, there's nothing more powerful um, or, or thankful from a restaurant tour and our employees when someone chooses to spend 90 minutes of their time, you know, and spend, you know, their hard-earned money mm. um, with one of our establishments. Um, yeah. And the cool thing about that is we are, you know, we're local, we're independent, and so, and most of our, you know, a lot of our purveyors, local purveyors, so, you, yeah. know, the, the, you know, the money that folks choose to spend with us is going right back, yeah. you know, into our community. Well, we love, we love that 100%. All right, now we got to talk about your wife, because she's got an yeah. impeccable eye. <laughs> the decor in here is it's so interesting in the sense that it's not feminine or masculine, but it's so nice. Is that intentional? Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the space itself, the building was built in 1940. Yeah. It was a garage. I mean, yeah. there's garage doors. There's, <laughs> it, it's, it's quirky, but there's a lot of character. And so we wanted to play that up versus just erase everything and make it brand new. Yeah. So a lot of the design is thoughtful, even in our logo here. Um, we, uh, the, the swinging bridge that's now in Baker Park mm. used to um, actually cross over Carroll Creek here and connect Bentstown, which was this area, to the rest of Frederick. So you see the design I didn't even elements. know yes. that. Yeah. And I've been so here since I, 1977. <laughs> I'm learning something new. I love it. There's, okay, very there's cool. There's some really cool uh, yeah. old photographs of that, too, oh, that nice. we hope to incorporate at some point. So yeah. we're still, still working that in. Yeah, yeah definitely <laughs> some, some thoughtful design. Yeah. So how long have you guys been working on this space? I mean, it seemed quick to us, but I know if it's since 2022, you guys have been yeah. at this I for mean, a while, but. I mean, I think we really started uh, digging in pretty hard to this in probably the June, June, June July time okay, frame so of 2023. Yeah. So we're, we're close, to, close yeah. to a year. Yeah, okay. Um, now you were telling me, because I feel like this space, because it is so vast and it's got these separate pockets, are going to have like lots of little different vibes to it, right? I think coming to the bar is going to be one thing, coming to watch music is going to be something else. You've got this great space that can kind of be closed off. What is that your, what, what do you feel like this is going to morph into? 
Yeah, I think you know as you look at if, as you look at hospitality and where the business is going. There's so much going on, um, you know, in the in the hospitality industry today. And as you look at the the evolvement of what our guests are expecting um, out of a great restaurant, and so what the the whole idea was to really create a multitude of different experiences people could have um, within you know within the same four walls. And mm. so what you see here is there's a plethora of different you know configurations that you could do from a private event standpoint. So for example, if someone wanted to come have a happy hour here. There's two or three different options, or yeah. a, you know, a company or a business or individuals. There's two or three different options. Where we're sitting right now, you know, we created this. This is this is basically a bank at booth area that can seat you know up to 12 to 14 people. Yeah. Um, and it's literally probably it's probably the best seat in the house. For so sure. you know, if you've got For a sure. you know you know a bachelorette party coming in, yes. it could be a really great time. Just an anniversary, a large group of friends getting together, a great time. Obviously, with the live music component. Um, up close to the stage, we're keeping that clear. So you know, yeah. <laughs> during our as we and, and I hope I hope our I hope our guests and the community are a little patient with us. Yeah. Um, out of respect to the musicians, um, we didn't do a lot of booking in, event, in advance because there's so many there's so many uh, loose ends that have to mm. come together. And I didn't want to be in a position when I was where I was booking musicians and then calling them and letting them Canceling. know that hey we have to cancel. <laughs> yeah. um, but you know that the as we get as we get this thing going, you know. You know the the standard sets that we're targeting is really to go nine to nine to midnight on Friday. Um, we're gonna do a two to five set on Saturday, then a nine to midnight set on Saturday, and then a two to five set um, on Sunday. Yeah. So you know if people really want to come in here and enjoy music, and if you're up on the stage and you really want to you really want to get going, I, I can assure you that the sound system that we that we've invested <laughs> and put in this place. Um, it can make yeah. you, uh, your insides vibrate a little bit if that's what you're so looking for. So if you for. want that intimate anniversary yeah. thing between five and nine is your time <laughs> that you want to book. But if you want to, I mean, look, I think I think that is where the Nashville comes in, right? Yeah. That music throughout yeah. the day, that Sunday afternoon session or the Saturday afternoon is brilliant. The menu, how is the menu shaking out? Because I've seen kind of the, the initial part, <laughs> the Nashy hot, fantastic. The veggies are freaking everybody out in the best way. <laughs> the fried saltines with that butter out of this world. So um, what do you guys, I know you've been doing a little bit of testing and stuff like that. How do you feel like the open, which is Wednesday, uh, is gonna shake out for you guys? What are you planning? Well, one, I mean, I think one, I will just start off huge thanks to the leadership and the management team here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, anyone in the restaurant business will understand this. Those that maybe have not worked in the restaurant business <laughs> might not understand it, but you know, I think you know, I always have the, you know, I always have a saying, if you, if you, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Yeah. And so our leadership and management team, and as well as the 45 to 50 employees that we've had the opportunity to bring into That's our amazing. organization, you know, they were, they were here putting in the time all week last week, yeah. um, training, 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 and mock service over and over again. Yeah. Um, and the good news is where I said I've gotten to partake in a lot of this <laughs> yeah. is the from the tasting and right, the drinks and things right. like that. Quality and, control. Yeah, right. quality, quality control. control. <laughs> um, and the team has just done fantastic. Yeah. Um, I've, ha I've had the privilege of, in my time, I think this is the ninth restaurant um, that I've opened. I think as any, any owner or anyone would be in this business, you're obviously nervous going into it. Um, but the team, I mean, they're yeah. doing they're doing the work. They're putting the time in. They're they're really working on it. So I am looking forward to our opening. Yeah. Um, I stress with the team over and over, and uh, I'm just like, guys, we have to execute. It has to be the same over and over and over again. And we've got to be ready to get cranked. Yeah. And you know, people are going to want to come here. And I always say, you know, the first 90 days. If you can execute well, yes. that generally spell that that generally spells the trajectory of the business over the next six months, nine months to yeah. a year. And um, sadly, that's true, right? Yeah. So it really so is. They're testing you at your weakest yep. point, and the wh however the reviews pan out is really kind of what kind of sets the tone. And so, yeah, I think that that's. Um, but at the same time, come on, people, we got to just chill <laughs> a little bit. It's brand new. Uh, yeah. Have a little these, patience and a little grace, guys, but yeah, this, I'm sure the your team, team is the ready. The team is ready. Um, yeah. We've been fortunate. We've, we've got a we've got a fairly experienced bar staff and server nice. staff, um, and there was the, the training has been very very rigorous. But at the end of, of the day, you know, we it's our job to make sure we're, we're doing the absolute best job we can to have the strongest culture 
and the strongest team in place out of respect yeah. for the team that's currently here and also yeah. for our guests and our community. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, we're really excited. So the grand, grand opening to the public Wednesday, 5 p.m. Yep. You are wide open. Are we? Are you doing any live entertainment that night? Yep. Or you are? Ooh. So Wednesday. Coming out hot. I love it. <laughs> love it. Wednesday, so uh, 5 to 7, um, Andy Kerrigan will be here doing a, just a, a solo, more of acoustic set nice. um, during the traditional dinner service. Um, and then Dan McGuire, ah, uh, the Dan McGuire band, uh, they're going nice. to be taking the stage and they're going to do a two-hour set from 8 to 10. Okay. So people are going to have an opportun opportunity to see this place uh, crank a little yeah. bit, but the volume will start to go up and we'll have a little bit more of a social, yeah. um, fun atmosphere as we get into late night hours, regardless if we have a band or not. So do you guys do reservations for tables other than like these special spots? We will. So out of the gate, um, after talking with our general manager and our executive chef and a lot of our leadership team, also the leadership team at Brewers Alley, um, we felt like out of the gate, we're not going to do reservations mm -hmm. the first week. Um, we want to see how the flow sure. goes. Um, but ultimately, yes, we will be yeah. doing reservations. What is the one thing you want all of Frederick to know about Benstown? If they walk away from this interview thinking just one thing, what is it? I would just say one walk away saying you know knowing that we're we're so thankful and humbled and honored for the opportunity to bring a really cool concept um to frederick um and then two so i already messed up your question but that's, that's okay that's what i do hey time it's time. <laughs> two is uh you know it's uh it's as simple as uh you know bands bites booze we've got a phenomenal we've got a phenomenal menu giving a tribute to to the southern culinary theme combined with you know, it's a phenomenal selection of bourbons, phenomenal craft cocktails, ph phenomenal beer. You know, we have over a hundred bourbons available wow. um, in this place, and we Holy have, uh, you know, we have a. It's supposed to be a secret, but we do have a captain's <laughs> list um, with some bourbons, some very, very rare bourbons that our that our our, our director of bar beverage has been working on for quite a while um, to make sure that we have a really nice inventory of options. So they're like flights you can order now? You, yeah, you can get, <laughs> yeah, cow. we have, you can get a, yeah, so similar, My you know, will brewer, be a frequent at Brewer's flyer Alley, here. you're going to get, uh, you're going to get beer flights. Beer flight, right. um, here you got, you've got bourbon oh, flights awesome. and some very, uh, and we've got, again, for those bourbon connoisseurs out mm. there, um, we've got some phenomenal options for them. Well, the secret is out now, but you got to make your way to Ben's Town, six, South Bend Street, right? Yeah. Six South Bend. Come on out starting Wednesday. Have patience if you come Wednesday. Be ready just to chill a little bit. Give them a couple weeks to get things sorted <laughs> out. But I have a feeling this is going to be the hottest spot in town. Thank you guys very much. Ah, cannot wait for that. And speaking of cannot wait... I'm so excited to have Charlie Marcourt here with me. How are you, my friend? How are we doing? How's everything? Oh, I am okay. What a game you had. 46 points on the board. 42 minutes played to uh, clinch the the top seed. How, how That game was crazy. Yeah, really crazy. You know, uh, after a long travel day and whatnot, it was sort of fitting how crazy the game was, you know. Right. So you guys played three away games. Um, you um, had struggled a little bit. What first game won the second. This one was really um, imperative to win against the Patroons in Albany. And you guys uh, took that one out. Um, yeah, I didn't like watching uh, this on TV, but it was at least we could be there with you guys. Um, 42 minutes. That's a huge amount of time played. Did you feel OK? Um, yeah, I felt fine and, uh, you know, cause long season we're in shape and stuff like that. So, um, but it was just so hot in that gym. I guess that gym is a, a historic building, so they can't update it or anything like nice. that or make any changes. <laughs> it nice. must've been 85 degrees in there. It was, Holy it, so it cow. did not make it any easier for us. Right, right. Isn't that like when, you know, uh, football teams go to the tundra to play and stuff like that? Maybe that was they were trying to uh, sweat you guys out. I, I think so. <laughs> so do you know who? So we have one play in game, right? Is that Thursday? Um, so, no, we, we, we got to buy. So the play in game is tonight between uh, oh, the Albany. Rebels. Right. Yep. yep. 
Yeah, okay, so they play in because they were not the top seed. So they'll play in, and then it's the winner of that game that we play here on Saturday? Correct, yep. Awesome, okay. So still two tough teams, right? So it would either be Reading or Albany? Right, right. So, okay. Yeah, it's going to be tough, but hopefully we get a, a nice big crowd to come out on Saturday, give us that home court advantage. Yes, yes, for sure. We need everybody to come out to that game. Well, I was looking at the stats, still the number one three-pointer in uh, in the league. Uh, uh, over, was I think it was like an 83% free throw percentage. Um, and, you know, you guys really still came together. I think the problem on um, Sunday was turnovers. Um, mm -hmm. What, you know, I think we just had a lot of turnovers that kept the game as close as it actually was for most of it. What else do you think you guys could do just to make sure if we play them again or either team actually that we're going to come out on top? Um, that's a great question. I mean, turnovers definitely um, are always uh, uh, are tough for any team in any sport. So, as long as we limit that, I think we'll be good. But also, um, that was the third time we beat them this year. So it's always tough to beat a team three times. Teams make adjustments and whatnot and try and stop certain tendencies that we'd like to get to. Um, I think it's just sticking to our game plan uh, and making sure that we're just on top of our game, you know, like in playoffs, every, there's no, every possession is special, you know, so just making sure that we, we get the best shot, um, make the best decisions uh, each possession. I think that's just important. Um, yeah, so yeah. If, we, if we do that, then I think we're good. Yeah, and I think, look, I think, you know, having a home court um, for for this game, you know, is going to be a huge um, lift. And, um, you know, we need all of Frederick to come out, go get your tickets, go flyingcals.com, watch this team. Even if you haven't been all season, it's okay. We forgive you <laughs> for not uh, supporting, but now is the time. Um, okay, so I'm going to already predict we're going to win. And then, so then what happens? You guys then move to the next round and play teams from other divisions? Right. So, uh, there's a Southern division. There is a, a Midwest division. So I believe they play um, a playing game tonight. And then the first seed of those divisions uh, await that. And then um, I believe yeah. it's it's one of the, the Southern or Midwest divisions. Oh, well, it was very exciting to watch. It's so fun, frustrating, yelling and screaming at the TV <laughs> like you guys could hear me. And I got to say, my family and I, I'm telling you, there is no MC at any of these teams that I've seen yet so far, like you guys have here in Frederick. So I'm just oh, gonna definitely not, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> so yeah, I was uh, kind of laughing at that there, but we're gonna make the game fun. It's gonna be exciting. Well, they're gonna make the game fun and exciting. I'm just gonna add to it with some fun during the timeouts. Come out. GoFlyingCows.com. This is your number one three-pointer in all of the TBL. Charlie Marcourt, you got to come watch him. It is really, really fun to watch. All right, one thing. What do you want to tell Frederick? You guys need to make sure we pull this on the top. Um, I would say please go get those tickets. Uh, pack the barn. There, That, that uh, is is the theme that we're going for so we need to really pack uh the the gym out at hood college um the support is very appreciative and uh we'll see you all saturday yeah absolutely all right charlie thanks for getting up thanks for an awesome game this weekend and uh coming home with that win and uh we will see you on saturday perfect thank you so much for having me again of course anytime all right so so fun i gotta tell you you gotta you gotta come to that game go flyingcows.com i'll have more information um as the game plays tonight who we're going to be playing i'm telling you both of these teams are going to be tough and uh they are going to come ready to knock us out of that spot so we need your help there all right one more thing FCPS Board of Education meeting is tomorrow, the 29th, 4 to 6 p.m. It looks like the remote virtual program is what is being talked about being cut. Uh, you can go to fcps.org to submit 
uh, your form for public comment, or you can call 301-696-6965. Of course, all of that information is at fcps.org. If you are concerned about the remote virtual program, or obviously if you wanna be involved with the Board of Education and know what's going on, this is the time for the planning for the next school year for some of the items. So you're gonna to wanna to jump in on that. And also completely forgot that Shannon and her team selected Pooling for Veterans as their charity. She had texted me this weekend, so she is in. And I am going to find a new charity and I will announce mine tomorrow. So if you're a local nonprofit and you want me to select your charity, just let me know. You can email me at everythingfredericlive at gmail.com. Okay, coming up tomorrow, I've got Scott Marcerone from Let There Be Rock School. And Kristen will be joining me from Frederick Lifestyle Magazine. And we're on all the socials. So when you have a minute, please search and follow Good Morning Frederick everywhere you can. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Whew, happy first day back from a long weekend. I know it's always a struggle. Remember, today is Tuesday. Get out there and be great, Frederick. Frederick.